this house. There's some roars in 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 this house. My name is Aisha Jordan, a third year healthcare management scholar from Merritt Island, Florida. And this video is about my first semester at FAMU. Y'all, I don't know if y'all watching my other videos, don't matter. But just know FAMU was my dream school and I got there. So I just want to talk about it. I want to talk about the shock that I endured, um, the struggles I may have had, and just the process overall. It was rough, but I made it. <laughs> Would recommend So it. a little background. Um, I have my AA degree from a community college that I went to where I live. Um, and so I did my first two years of college, but I really wasn't sure of what my major was. So I didn't complete like my final like classes that I had to do to like really start the healthcare management classes. So this semester is what I, that's what I was doing. So now when I go back in the fall, I'll be like third year actual junior doing my third year classes for healthcare management. So um, when I went, I did not know nobody. Um, I'm a very shy person. I really don't like to talk. I'm not <laughs> like I try to make myself as inviting as possible, but I don't talk for real. So that's a problem. So before I got to FAMU, I watched a million, it felt like a million videos from other FAMU students or anybody else really about college, right? And so like a lot of FAMU students, they were like, oh yeah, it's so easy to make friends and like they seemed like they were so well informed and like it was just so easy to transition and when I got there I was shocked at how it was not the same for me so like most YouTubers I seen they had already had a friend group I was transferring spring semester and most of the people do have a friend group but now I'm a new person and I don't got a no friend group <laughs> so it was really hard um for my first two weeks but I did end up finding my two friends and I'm just really happy. I'm really happy to have met them girls because they saved my life. <laughs> they saved my life this semester. So I want to talk about how to meet friends. So how I met them was on GroupMe. As soon as you get on campus, before you get on campus, I don't know what you want to do, but you want to get GroupMe and scan some codes somewhere, find them. So um, I was in a GroupMe for transfer students, and then we made a second GroupMe for um, people who wanted to meet people because we didn't have no friends. All of them had no friends. <laughs> So one, my friend Dan, she was like, oh, do y'all want to go to the FSU barbecue? We thought it was FSU. I don't know who whose it was, but we went. And I was like, yeah, I'll go. You go. And then um, another girl named Jasmine, my other friend, she was like, um, oh, y'all going to go? I want to go. I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> So that's how that happened. Um, I'm going to insert a picture of us at the barbecue. How it all started um so yeah so that's how we met and group me will save your life and instagram if you don't have instagram make one because it's really important for like everything honestly so um the third thing i want to talk about was how little informed i felt when i first got there y'all i ain't know where nothing was at on the campus and when i tell y'all i did search for a dang campus map <laughs> what when i tell you apple maps was my best friend i was like what's the address to my class buildings i had to apple map that crap and then follow it follow the walking directions i didn't know where um to use my meal plan at um i didn't know how to find out events y'all like one thing about family they don't give you a lot of information and you really have to kind of take the initiative and figure it out on your own and that's what it really took so be aware of that Um, how to find events, um, I would say Instagram is your number one friend. I'm going to put some Instagrams that like have really helped me finding out parties, information about anything I wanted to go to. Because y'all want to tell you it's a lifesaver, it's a lifesaver. Tell me, Instagram and group me is your best friend. Uh, fourth thing is how I was thrown in. I moved in 
to FAMU January 4th, y'all. I mean, I got there January 4th at like 9 a.m., unpacked all day, finally laid in my bed for a little minute, prepared myself, and had class the next day. Yeah. No time to really settle in. No time to have a little um, introductory party. Nothing. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> they don't care about people who move in spring semester. That's what I'm going to say. They don't care. No, at all. Because, yeah. Like, I've seen people who move in fall semester or freshman, and they're like, oh, we had this party. We had this party. We had a week in between we moved in and when we started. And I'm like, what? Where was that for me? I didn't have it. <laughs> I had to dive in and go but um yeah so that's just a warning if you're a transfer student and you or just a student who moves in on the spring semester yeah be prepared to just go in and get started yeah um another thing was roommates so um I decided to have a roommate my first semester and pretty much all through college I plan to because it's the cheapest option and I don't mind sharing a room with somebody I don't care but, like, I really thought we were going to talk more or something. She was chill. Shout out to you, so if you see this video. But she was chill. But she just didn't talk, like, that much. We, she let me use her microwave. She was a room for that. She let me use her microwave. And we did share things here and there with, like, food stuff. So that was nice. But um, that's about it. And then I had, there was four rooms total. So I'm in one room with the girl. Two and two and two. Three rooms total. Three rooms total. Two, me and my roommate, two girls, two girls. I didn't meet the other four girls, like, at all, y'all. <laughs> was there for a whole good four months and met the other girls at all. Like, it was maybe, like, one girl I did say hi to. Like, we whole shook hands and said hi, but that was about it. I was like, Lord Jesus, how am I supposed to find friends? <laughs> I was stressed, y'all, I was stressed. But, um... They all were really nice. They all stayed pretty clean. Um, didn't have any problems with them, honestly. Um, so it worked out, honestly, because a lot of people be having roommate issues, and I didn't have that. So I'm really happy about that. But um, if you were wondering, I would say I would definitely recommend a roommate. I mean, it's some, it's for some people. Some people can't do it, but me. If you want to save some coins, do the roommate. Do the roommate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Parking, y'all, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's start at the dorm. So at the dorm, or just like around in general, you're supposed to have your car registered, y'all. When I thought is, oh, I'm I'm signed up for classes. It just goes in the system that I'm a student there. Girl, tell me how like my first week I got a ticket for thirty dollars. Mind y'all, I was living off my savings, so thirty dollars is thirty dollars. It's a lot. So um, I was like, dang, girl, you have to go all the way to parking services up the street and down the corner and like just sign up for free so why can't I just be in the system but anyway I had to pay my little third dollars I was sad about that but whatever um parking for classes is hard though we have a parking garage girl if you have early class during the week I don't know what to tell you it's a struggle mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. it just no and then if you park by um by like the set don't even try it is never parking there never ever ever you will struggle the whole time so i don't know just get there early or park on the street i don't know figure it out it's hard so um i'm gonna talk about my first two weeks there so like i said i moved in on the fourth and i started classes on the fifth and the first two weeks i literally sat in my bed I would go to classes I finally figured out what the dang calf is like I told y'all I didn't know where nothing was figured out what the calf is get food come to my room lay down watch YouTube do homework whatever I know my roommate was like can you please leave and I was like sis I wish I could but I don't know nobody <laughs> but like y'all like I was so lonely it was so sad I was so lonely but like I said I got on that group me and I found my little two friends and I'm just so thankful for that I'm telling y'all one thing you need to remember is find you a good one or two friends I mean you could just be a duo it don't matter just at least find one find you one or two friends and just hang out with them and experience things because not having no friends is the most boring thing to do in college I mean it's just 
it's horrendous. It's totally ugly. It's terrible. So, um, <laughs> girl, before I found my friends, I wanted to transfer. Like, I live about an hour away from UCF. My mom wanted me to go to UCF. I said, no, I want to go to PMU. I was whole wanting to transfer. That first week, I was like, dang, my mom might have been right. But I hate being wrong. So, guess what? <laughs> I found me some friends. <laughs> the last topic is balancing your school life with your social life. So, since it's my first semester in college, and honestly, I was just thinking the heavens that I found my little two friends. I was outside, y'all. I was outside. <laughs> I was outside. Looking at outside. So, um, we was at, dang, we was at the dang barbecue. Then we went to brunch. We was at, we tried like all the clubs. was like at all the basketball games just experiencing life which i recommend but y'all just need to know don't get lost in the sauce i got lost in the sauce there for a minute though but i passed all my classes so <laughs> didn't get too lost in the sauce thank the lord <laughs> crap is expensive y'all don't got time to be seven no classes know that so when you do just come just know like have fun but don't get lost in the sauce it's easy y'all it's very easy but like i said just focus and try to maintain the balance so yeah but i just want to end this off with saying um i fully do recommend fanu as a school that you should be interested in um uh, i just say go in like <laughs> with an open mind don't be like oh it's gonna be a certain type of way it ain't y'all it ain't it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. you're gonna you're gonna die from struggling with that don't do it so um yeah <laughs> download instagram download group me figure out some um group chats on group me um follow the people i post on here from instagram because you're gonna need it so yeah but um overall i would fully recommend vanu it's a great school i had a great experience with it and i can't wait for fall semester i'm home now for summer but i'm going back in august and about in love can't nobody call me a titty like a titty <laughs> I am hot. Anyway, yeah. So once again, strike, strike, strike again. Can I get two claps and a strike? <laughs>